Ricky to talk to you about Robert Alexander Suma. He was born in Zalikau, Germany in 1810. He was a very famous composer. This time, I'm going, and I hope in the near future to be telling you about another famous composer, which I can do minuets by Bach. But now I'll just be talking about Suman today. He was the youngest of five siblings. He had three interests that was in music, playing the piano, composing, writing songs, and literature, and books. He took piano lessons at the age of eight with a local organist, so he composed it one year later at the age of nine. He developed a great fear of funerals after the death of his father and sister. Now I will introduce two characters in his life that are really important to how his life goes along. V, Frederick V, and Clara V. But he got to know them by V. He got to be his piano teacher eventually, and he somehow got to know Clara V's nine-year-old daughter. She was an advanced pianist at the age of nine. And at the age of 16, with Claude, she got to give Suman a kiss, and Suman sends kisses. They both got a kiss from each other. When Veek heard about this, he was boiling hot mad. He ran out the door, went and signed up for Claude for a piano lesson somewhere else, a tour, and off she went. And it was time for her to go. Suman spent three years battling Veek to try to see Claude again. But but Veek said, no, I don't have Claude. She went on a tour because she chose her, which is probably a lot because he didn't want someone to know that he did it or he would be even madder. He used a restraining device on his right hand to equal up eyes the strengths of his fingers. That just gave him a crippled right hand. And he did that to be a better pianist. After not seeing each other for more than a year, they both engaged in secret. And Vic never found out. Never. So, finally, the battle of who would be made had to be decided in the court. One day, before Claudius took it, but Vic was boiling mad because he had lost the battle. They got married. In the first year, of his marriage. Someone wrote a hundred songs. That's a lot of songs right in the year. I compose a, a little, and it usually takes me more than a year to compose one song. So that's a lot. In his lifetime, especially when he was young, he loved to explore castles and forests. He traveled a lot during his lifetime. And he met two of the famous composers, Felix Mendelssohn and Johannes Brahms. Brahms you, has a very famous lullaby in this country, 
and its foot and most baby toys. So I still have one of I have a music box that plays it. And I can play it on the violin too. Seriously. <laughs>